Well, we've all heard that immigration is a big part of Canada's future. Uh, maybe your family is an immigrant as well. Uh, this is Canada 150, and it's part of our panel mm -hmm. celebrations that we are talking about the big ideas that shape Canada. Immigration. It's huge. Kevin, yeah, your, your family goes back generations in Canada. Yeah, well, I mean, two generations. I didn't realize how long we had been in the Ukraine. So so I'm really more of a, an immigrant than I even understood. Right? <laughs> okay. Well, to help us understand the value that immigration is bringing to Canada's faith life, we're joined by three great experts in this. Ray Pennings is the co-founder of the think tank Cardis. I'm going to ask each of you about your immigration story in a nutshell. We have Derek Ramkusen, who is... He works in all kinds of uh, volunteer roles. He's an employment agency owner, but he also is very integrated into his community. And Pastor Jeeva Sam works with the United Church, you pastor a United Church in Niagara. So let's just start briefly. Immigration. Uh, pastor Jeeva, how did it affect your family here in Canada? <laughs> uh, well, my dad moved here in 1975. And so... So if you were fairly new Canadians. And where did he move from? From India. And what brought him here? Yeah. What, what, was, what was the immigration draw? Well, you know, he was serving in the church already uh, as an ordained pastor. And at that time, the United Church of Canada had a lot of openings. And so they were looking to churches outside of Canada uh, to make sure that they had enough pastors to... Wow. serve United Church congregation, so... Like he came like a missionary to Canada. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was actually studying in the U.S. He was working on a doctorate in the U.S., and some friend uh, from high school contacted him and said, hey, yeah, there's some opportunities here. Do you want to come along for a change? And so that just applied on a lark, uh, yeah. got interviewed and came, and then in 1976, the rest of us followed. So, wow. Yeah. Okay, Derek, how has immigration affected your family? Yeah, I came to Canada when, in 1983, and um, in the heart of winter, <laughs> February, into in Edmonton. Oh, <laughs> that's brave! And where from? Well done. From Guyana. <laughs> from Guyana. So, uh, and what drew you here? My sister uh, decided that you know things were tough where we were, and decided this is a better place for us. Okay. And uh, as grew up in Guyana, was a youth pastor and a, and a youth leader, and you know decided that you know the Lord has something better for me here. And, I came to Canada in 83 and uh, started my ministry. Wow, so Ray Pennings, you're a researcher with Cardis, the co-founder of Cardis. You have been this great uh, intellectual force that has just helped us understand we've got to start thinking biblically about these trends, but your immigration story is a little bit different, right? It is, actually. So my grandfather uh, was in the Netherlands uh, during the Second World War, um, had 10 children, he was 48 years old, very involved in the underground movement. As a matter of fact, my grandparents' name are on a wall in Jerusalem for their significant role in protecting Jews during the Second World War. Wow. After, uh, after the war was over, uh, my grandfather left a comfortable middle-class uh, life in the Netherlands and uh, moved to Canada. Um, he had 10 unmarried children. Today, his offspring are more than 500 children and great, uh, uh, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Uh, so um, we... You know, I'm the offspring of immigrants, but I'm always reminded. And it, when I think of my grandfather died when I was eight years old. I have very few memories of him, but I, he was a very pious man and very concerned also to speak, even at a very young age. One of about three conversations I can remember with him was a spiritual conversation in which he expressed concern and the importance of living a godly life um, to me as his grandson. So one of the few memories I have. And subsequent to that, as I understood more of it, I thought, here is an Orthodox Christian man who risked his life to save people who he was concerned about their eternal salvation. These were not believers in Jesus Christ. So for him, these were people he did not expect to spend eternity with. And yet, freedom, protecting their life, recognizing the dignity of God in every person was important for en enough for him to risk his life. And I found that a great inspiration in terms of my own work in public life in Canada. And we have um, discovered that the care that the gospel belongs to everybody mm. is a huge driving issue in, in, in the life of immigration in Canada. Um, Ray, you've just finished a big study with the Angus Reed and Cardis collaboration that found 21% of Canadians who pray, who go to church, who read their Bibles, this would be the religiously committed, they're likely to be born from another country. It's interesting. So in 1996, population growth in Canada in 1996 was roughly half between natural growth and half between immigrants. 
Today, it's about 70-30. 70%, so as Canada's population grows, increases from year to year, about 70% of that growth is measurable to, to immigrants. When it comes to faith communities, immigrants, depending, there's all sorts of metrics and we won't, we won't muddy the waters with all the numbers, but roughly they are about twice as likely to go to church, pray, read the Bible, um, get involved. And of course, it's not just Christian religions, although it is predominantly. 44% of immigrants are either Catholic or Protestant, okay. even today. All right, we, we, we've got lots more on the immigration panel, that, uh, so stay tuned, we'll be back right after this.